Now, How to Train Your Dragon 2 was a great film. I'm going to start it off like that. It was a great film. The main character, of course, Hiccup, he's back. He's 20 years old now. He's grown up. And a fly just went through. I think it's a moth. Hiccup was once again voiced by Jay Baruchel. Great voice actor for Hiccup. And um, pretty much the film was very good. And um, once again, the story of the film, again, is Toothless. Toothless's character really evolves in this movie. Um, he, had, he takes a huge part. You know, I'm a very drastic thing in this film, and pretty much Toothless is a very cool character. I really love that dragon, Toothless. Um, they made him even more cute in this um, movie. And um, this movie, I gotta say, the first one, if you watched it, it's kind of like a more light tone. This movie is dark. The director of this film did say that he wants to make it more like The Empire Strikes Back, and he and he said that he wants to make it more like a darker tone, the darkest of the series, and um. Yeah, the, gr the the film really did get darker, and um, I really did like that. I really do like darker stuff. I really like it when a movie is kind of lighthearted and then it goes from being dark. I'm sorry, from lighthearted to dark, and I really do like that. This movie was great. Um, I I believe all the same voice actors are back. They sounded the same, and there's a character in this movie. You see her in the trailer, so I'm gonna just say it, Hiccup's mom, and Hiccup's mom is just such a badass in this movie. Um. She was honestly one of the best characters in the whole movie. She was awesome. And um, the movie is really, really awesome. Um, Hiccup, he evolves. He becomes stronger. He becomes more... He just becomes more... Um, like he, he, He's like the village celebrity, really. Um, people look up to him. And really, Hiccup is just a, a force to be reckoned with. I mean, Hiccup goes from being this very... Like this... um Kind of like this loser in the first one. He... Like, now he's being praised, and so, I mean, it's a really big character, de like, development movie, which is what I really like. He looks different. He looks cooler. And, um, the film is great. My only flaw with the movie, really, and it's not even a flaw, just something that I wish that they would have put, was 30 Seconds to Mars, King and Queens, um, for the final battle. That would have been really cool, but, um, they didn't. But whatever, I mean, I, I still love the movie. I'm definitely, I'm not going to fault it for that. And, um, this movie really proves that the summer, summer is starting off really awesome. I actually saw Edge of Tomorrow with my dad, um, today, today's Father's Day, and, um, when I'm recording this video. I saw this movie the day before it came out, um, in theaters, but I didn't have a chance to record at all. So, um, this review, so now I'm doing it. And, um, pretty much, this movie was great. I mean, Edge of Tomorrow and this. Summer is really looking good. So yeah, How to Train Your Dragon really is becoming, it's, it was such a great movie. And I really cannot wait until the third one. I hope they don't mess it up because um, DreamWorks went from Shrek 1, 2. Then it went downhill. 4 kind of redeemed itself. Not really. But still, um, hopefully How to Train Your Dragon has a more successful franchise career. And um, I, I really hope that How to Train Your Dragon 3 is successful and it's good. Because um, this movie was pretty good. My friend who doesn't know anything who watched it with us um says that it was okay and um we don't like him. No but um I mean whatever. But this movie was great. Um this movie was really was a fun movie. And um, I really cannot wait until the third one. And I'm I heard that they're gonna make a fourth one too. I don't know. Um hopefully they don't milk the franchise. I just wanted to end really good and simple. Um not simple, but I just wanted to end good. Um my only complaint about this movie I'm just gonna say it, it was really the ending, cause the ending does it does it doesn't really explain much, but it was still good. I mean, I really don't know what to think. Um, hopefully the the third one um continues the story, um, cause at the ending you you you're not gonna really know what happened. Um, I mean it kind of it doesn't add at a cliffhanger, but um, it does it doesn't really finish the story sort of. So um. Like, it leaves you with more questions than answers. And, um, th like, I really hope that they touch on it in the third one. I hope that they don't just leave that out. Um, I'm pretty sure they're going to touch on it. That's probably going to be a big thing. But, um, yeah, overall, I'm going to start off my new rating system. I'll probably make a new video on my new ra my rating system. Um, I'm not going to do it here. Never mind. I'm just going to give it a simple um, 10 out of 10. Awesome movie. This movie was great. How to Train Your Dragon 2 is a 10 out of 10. And I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And as always, leave a like, favorite, or subscribe. And I'm out. Peace.